everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for April's Stats Game. So I will link my goals video that I made at the beginning of this year where I talk about this game and why I'm doing it. But essentially it is a game that I'm going to be playing every single month throughout this year at least where I look at some of the goals that I made for myself and try and figure out how I'm doing with those goals. So what I have is this whiteboard here. How it works is I have all of the things that I want to try and focus on throughout the year and each month down on this side here. This one over here is my not happy. This one over here is the happy and the little smiles rubbed off but this is the happy line. So I have got down this side here uh, BIPOC, so BIPOC author, LGBTQIA+, representation, neurodiverse, mental slash physical health, Australian Aboriginal, translated, graphic novel slash manga, audiobook, short story slash verse, out of comf my comfort zone, buzzword, um, the buzzword being from Kayla from Books and Lala's channel where she has buzzwords that she has each month. So it's a word or a type of word in the title. And then whether or not I finish my TBR, which is specifically the Roll of Reads TBR. So the Roll of Reads, if you're not aware, is my game that I play every month, except for this month, but every month to figure out what my TBR will be. So if I finish my Roll of Reads TBR, then I get a line there. So how it works is that for each book that I read, any of the these down here that they meet, I get a line under the smile in that column. Once I hit three lines in the column, then I get to have a magnet over here in the magnet area. Once this magnet area is filled up, then I get to pull out something out of my little patticorn box. Um, and they are a bunch of different prizes, all sorts of different things not just book related but all sorts of different things in there that I can get for filling up this. So for each line, each three lines I get a magnet. However I do have the unhappy face over here and that is for every single month I have to read a book that features LGBTQIA plus representation and BIPOC otherwise I get a line for each month under the two, under the one or the two whichever for both if they're not met and that means I have to take a magnet away so if I don't read a book that features LGBTQIA plus rep or um and or BIPOC then I lose the magnet I'm doing okay there I haven't got any yet so hopefully April will be okay I'm pretty sure it is so I did get the magnet for physical and mental health rep because there's now four lines um, I did get one for LGBTQIA+, because I have done first three months, all of those were, ha all of those TBRs had one at least, and then BIPOC had one at least as well. They can be the same book. <laughs> so for example, in March I read uh, Cinderella is Dead, which is a book by a BIPOC author who, that is also sapphic, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to give um, the red line that I have through mental physical health the first three is just to tell me that I've already counted for it so I'm going to do that with these two as well because otherwise just fixing the little smile otherwise I'll forget and I'll give myself extra things which you know is not the point at all all right so get my journal and I must remember because I almost forgot to talk about it in the wrap-up I literally just literally just filmed but I must remember I, there's an extra book in here that I didn't account for let me just write that down maybe <laughs> First up we have Normal People by Sally Rooney. No, she is not a BIPOC author and there is no LGBTQIA plus representation. No neurodiverse representation, mental physical health, not really, no. Not Australian Aboriginal, not been translated. It is not a graphic novel or a manga. Um, I read it physically. It is short, not short story or verse. Out of my, it's not out of my comfort zone. It, didn't I mean I don't even know what the buzzword was so I don't know if I'm gonna get any for that <laughs> let me just check uh no it's big little that kind of thing so no that doesn't fit there either finish TBR I'll do it at the very end all right so normal people didn't get me anything next up we have the library of the unwritten so I do not believe that AJ Hackwith is a BIPOC author she is however queer so that's a line 
there. Neurodiverse, no, I don't think so. Mental physical health, not really, no. Australian Aboriginal, no. Translated, no. Graphic novel slash manga, no. Didn't read it on audio. It's not a short story or written in verse. It's not really out of my comfort zone. It doesn't fit buzzword. Finish TBR at the end. So we've got one line. Still, we've got one line. <laughs> um... Then we have Like a Charm by Elle McNichol. Elle McNichol is not BIPOC. As far as I know, there's there's certainly no LGBTQIA plus representation in the book. As far as I know, she doesn't identify in that way either. Mental, physical health, oh sorry, neurodiverse, yes. There is um, a character with dyspraxia in the story and Elle McNichol is autistic. Uh, mental, physical health, no. Aboriginal, Australian Aboriginal, no. Translated, no. Graphic novel, manga, no. <laughs> Audiobook, no. I read it in physical form. Uh, short story, verse, no. Out of my comfort zone, no. It was fantasy, so no. Buzzword, no. And finished TBR, no. Oh, well, haven't yet. So, I mean, that's still two lines, but <laughs> let's hope for something better. All right, so Hamnet. Hamnet is not by, written by a BIPOC author. No, no LGBTQIA plus rep, no neurodiverse rep, uh, mental physical health, yes, because the child does get sick. It's about a sick child. Australian Aboriginal author, no. Translated, no. Graphic novel, manga, no. Audiobook, no. Short story verse, no. Out of my comfort zone, no. Buzzword, no. Finish TBRs at the end. All right, next up we have Heartstopper. BIPOC, no. But... LGBTQIA+, plus, yes. Neurodiverse, no, I don't think so. Mental physical health rep, yes, because Charlie does um, have some mental health issues in the later volumes. So I did read the entire lot of what's on Webtoons. Australian Aboriginal, no. Uh, translated, no. Graphic novel, manga, yes. Graphic novel, finally, finally, four months in. <laughs> Um, audiobook, no. Short story, verse, no. Out of my comfort zone, yes, because graphic novels are out of my comfort zone. Uh, buzzword, no, and finish to be out at the end. So that was the entire Everything is on Webtoons, which I think is up to the end of volume four at the moment. Um, so that's why, yeah, kind of got some of that. And then The Yield, so BIPOC, yes, because Tara June Winch is an Australian Aboriginal author. Uh, which means I can go down straight there and give that one a line as well. So LGBTQIA+, no. Neurodiverse, no. Mental physical health, no. Australian Aboriginal just did. Translated, no. Graphic novel, manga, no. Audiobook, no. Short story verse, no. Out of my comfort zone, no. Buzzword, no. Finish my TBR. Again, I do it at the end. And then Jingo. So Jingo is not written by a BIPOC author. It is not LGBTQIA plus rep, no neurodiverse rep, no physical mental health rep, not written by an Australian Aboriginal author, definitely not translated, definitely not a graphic novel or a manga, but I did listen to it on audio, so I get a line there. Not a short story or verse, not out of my comfort zone at all, not buzzword, and finish it out at the end. And then the yellow wallpaper doesn't feature either of those top two. Not neurodiverse physical mental health, yes. Australian Aboriginal author, no. Translated, no. Graphic novel, manga, no. Audiobook, no. Short story verse, yes, I did. It is a short story, very short. Out of comfort, no, not really. Uh, buzzword, no. And finish TBR. I did finish my TBR. I finished everything that was on my Roll of Reads TBR, which was Normal People, The Library of the Unwritten, Like a Charm, Hamnet, and The Yield, and Jingo. So, yeah, I did finish that TBR. So... We don't have to worry about these because I did have, actually, because AJ Hackwith was, is queer, which I didn't realise, I did get two lines because obviously I read Heartstopper and then I read a book by an Australian Aboriginal author, so I got the line for BIPOC. So don't have to worry about this side. And now I have gotten three lines for short story verse and I hit three lines for mental physical health rep. So... That means I get to add two magnets. So here's one here. And another one. So exciting. Look at all those magnets. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so that was my stats game for the month of April. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game, how you think I'm going. If you have any thoughts on any of the prize suggestions, that would be great as well. If you'd like to leave me a comment, 
but you don't know what, then leave me a little smiley face emoji because that's the whole line thing is under the smiley faces. All of my social media details are listed in the description below. So if you'd like to go and follow me on any of those other platforms, please feel free to do so. Sorry, I just have, I just had a cat down here and then I went to pat her and then she ran off and um, got caught on the microphone cord and knocked the entire thing over and I've lost the little clippy thing because it, oh, it's here on that shirt. Um, yeah, it came off when she went, when everything collapsed and got pulled away by shade. So yes, anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, um, if you'd like to leave me a comment, leave me a smiley face. All of my social media details are listed in the description below. So if you'd like to come follow me on any of those other platforms, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.